Good morning, everyone. My name is Guy. I'm the VP Cyber at uh, Raison Group. Um, this track is um, part of the Cyber Week. And basically, when uh, we started Cyber Week a few years ago, there was a lot of talks about uh, um, how cyber will look a few years, uh, in a few years, how cyber is dealt with right now. But there wasn't enough technology-based talks. Uh, so what we've started is this track, which uh, uh, deals with technology. Some of the talks will be very technical. Some of the talks will talk about technology. But before we'll start, I want to talk a little bit about something that's happening right now, and, um, and I'll connect it to something that happened a few uh, weeks ago. Um, I think that uh, yesterday there was a new uh, attack that called the uh, Petya. Um, this attack, um, I, I can't really speak about it because I, there, is a lot of, there, there is a lot of publications about it, but I haven't seen something that really tells what it does. There are a lot of uh, movies in the YouTubes that uh, shows the, this uh, uh, malware ransomware, but, but really we re really don't know what, uh, what this, this is doing. In the side, you can see that something is encrypting your file. You can see that something is doing something to the computer, but you don't know really what's happening in the side or, or maybe behind your back. What I do want to talk about is uh, WannaCry that happened a few, uh, a few months ago, uh, maybe two months ago. Um, WannaCry was a uh, uh, ransomware, um, revolutionary ransomware that uh, had uh, some very nice pieces of code that uh, maybe the NSA wrote and leaked. WannaCry is, uh, was supposed to do a lot of money for the guys that sent it because it really uh, spread a lot. It attacked a lot of companies. And if you think about this kind of attack, this, as a criminal, this is the thing that I want to do. I want a good malware, a good ransomware that will spread very quickly, infect a lot of computers, infect a lot of companies, and then it, it will give me a lot of money. And in, if you think about this kind of ransomware, you think about millions of dollars of revenue for the writer of the code. And when you see that this uh, ransomware only made about $80,000. I think that writing this uh, piece of code took a lot, of, a lot of more money to write it. So when you think about this kind of code and this kind of, of, uh, of uh, ransomware that spread this good and made so little money, something you can't explain it. It's unexplainable. So. When you think about this WannaCry ransomware, you need to think why it made so little amount of money. Why they didn't succeed to do a lot, lot more money. And I, I can speak a lot about reasons why. I can speak a lot about who did it and why they did it. But really, no one knows. Some people would say that this is test for other things. Some people will say that uh, uh, it spread too fast and then people stopped it very quickly. And then very quickly there was another version of this WannaCry. So those kind of things make me think why. Why didn't made a lot more money? And that's the point where, where all the conspiration theories come. So, I will not give you the conspiration theories. You can find them online. But uh, I do want you to think that things like a lot less sophisticated, like Zeus and like other Trojan horses, made hundreds of millions of, do of dollars. And this sophisticated piece of code make only 80,000. And no one can explain why. The first speaker here will be Igaluna. Igaluna is the chief executive director 
of the new cyber technologies unit in the Israeli National Cyber Directorate. In his previous position, he served as the head of the SIGINT Cyber Division in the Israeli Security Agency, the Shin Bet. Um, his responsibility was national uh, responsibility of cyber defense, critical infrastructure security, intelligence collections, and operations. Eagle. 